The countdown to Clash Royale League World Finals continues, so we keep looking at the matchups these players will face as they play on the biggest stage of the year. Hello, welcome, I'm Rich Slayton, caster for Clash Royale League, and this is where we're breaking down the groups, as I call them. They're not actually groups for Clash Royale League World Finals, but if you didn't watch the two videos, a quick rundown. Each of our first matches, matches one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, all kind of start off in the same spot of the bracket, which means that the winners of match five and six will end up playing in the second round winner's bracket, and the losers of match five and six will end up playing in the first round of the lower bracket for an elimination game. And that's what we're looking at today. These four players, Pandora, Wallace, Vitor75, and Not Afraid. Let's jump right on into it first with Pandora. Dora and Wallace. This is another matchup that we've talked about being so razor thin between these two, but you have very different players. On one side, you have Pandora, who's a multiple time world finalist, but who has yet to win a match at world finals, and that stress really seems to be wearing on him. He's a very talented player, and I think that in this matchup, he has the overall higher skill cap when it comes to these two players on paper. But that thing on his back, that challenge of having never won a match at World Finals, those nerves seem to be a pretty big challenge for him. And one reason to go up against a guy who I don't think suffers from the same nerves and who brings a lot of fire to his matchups, and that's Wallace. Wallace is a fascinating case, the hero of Pan Gaming in 2020's World Finals where he totally carried them past Nova Esports, uh, which has been talked about quite a lot, of course, in our CRL history. Wallace is a player who I think has the lower skill cap of these two, but who has the higher ceiling in this event, in my opinion, because of nerves. I think that Wallace is the kind of guy who can rise to the occasion, but I, I don't know if I see him going all the way to a top four, top six position, but I don't see him falling really early in this competition. More on why I definitely don't think he's getting first rounded in just a couple of moments, but Wallace is a guy who plays his his bandwidth, he plays kind of in the middle. He's not going to play poorly at World Finals, and he's probably not going to play out of his mind at World Finals. He will play solid Clash Royale because that's what he does, and I think that Pandora here is going to feel the nerves, and when Wallace doesn't make mistakes, I'm going to give this slight edge to him in this matchup, and Pandora will fall down to the lower bracket. Wallace goes on to our upper bracket round number two, and Pandora goes down to match 11. That takes us to the other matchup here, match number six between Vitor and Not Afraid. Vitor is one of my all-time favorite people in Clash Royale. He's a, he's a really, really great guy and a phenomenal competitor who's been working so hard for so long and was teammates with Wallace on that Pain Gaming squad back in 2020. And he, we're talking now about a four-time world finalist, 2020, 2021, 2022 last year where he made top eight and 2023 this year. After he won his golden ticket to make it here to world finals, Vitor said said that he is does not believe he was at his best yet and that he will be at his best at World Finals. He was already so good this year and the idea he might be better at World Finals should be scary to everyone, especially the guy who says he won't be scared, his opponent not afraid from CRCC. Not Afraid qualified through the China region, which a lot of pros have said they think is a little bit softer, if only because it's only one country competing versus the rest of the world competing. And... Uh, not Afraid is known as an Expo player who made his way through, got past Nova Esports veteran AUK to qualify for this one. Not Afraid's gameplay, I think, might be, from most players' perspective, the lowest skill-wise out of the 16 players here. It's not like he can't surprise people, not like he can't pull out some phenomenal moments, but he is probably, in terms of power rankings, the 16th on power rankings. And he didn't draw one of the other guys who might be nervous. He didn't draw Arden Toas or Sosa. Instead, he drew the first round matchup here against Vitor, who's been here before, who's ready for it. This is a pretty clear pick for Vitor for me. Vitor goes on to the upper bracket round number two to face Wallace, and Not Afraid goes drops down into match number 11 for an elimination match against Pandora. In that matchup, I think that Pandora finally gets his first World Finals victory here against Not Afraid. He does have the, the higher skill cap, I believe, between these two players by what I would guess is a fairly significant margin. And I think that Not Afraid uh, will find that Pandora is coming out with kind of maybe nothing to lose in this one. So I'm going to pick Pandora to move on, where he will go into the lower bracket round two and 
I've already made my picks from our previous video where I think he'll face off against Sosa or Arden Toas as one of them will lose to Mugi or Adriel in the upper bracket round number two. And that should be a good matchup for Pandora as well. Pandora might have a route all the way to the top eight here that goes through the lower bracket. Just has to solidify things there on the bottom end. Then we go up to the upper bracket to the final match of this little group of four players and Wallace versus Vitor and Wallace is phenomenal, but I do believe that Vitor will take the day here. He's, I think he's the better live event player and I think that they're both guys who both play kind of with a, with a smaller bandwidth, right? They don't play really poorly live. They don't play really phenomenally live. But I think that if you're measuring those two, that it's Vitor's bandwidth is higher than Wallace's here. That's kind of how I see this one. So I'm going to pick Vitor here by like a 55-45, maybe 60-40 against Wallace. And that's going to send Vitor into the upper bracket semifinals. And I'm going to take Wallace all the way down to the lower bracket where he will face most likely going to be Adriel. He's actually going to face either Adriel or Mugi here based on the way the brackets work out because one of those two will fall to the lower bracket and then win that lower bracket match against Arden Toas or Sosa. So I think that Wallace here most likely faces Adriel or Mugi, which will be a very tough out for him if he wants to stay in that World Finals World Championship hunt. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, we only have one more prediction video left before World Finals, and then we get to see this action. I am so pumped. I'm so excited. I can't wait for it to happen. If you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel, like this video. Let me know if you think I got these picks right or if I should have picked a little bit differently. Uh, maybe the look, Will these age well? Who knows? The only way to find out is to watch see our World, World Finals November 24th through 26th on the official Clash Royale YouTube page. Uh, that's it, everybody. As always, be excellent to each other. Party on, dude.